Today we're going to be learning how to do a basic time value of money problem on the TIBA2 Plus calculator. So what we're doing today is we're using the buttons that are on the third row from the top. N, IY, PV, PMT, and FV. What each of those buttons means are the following. N stands for number of periods. This could be number of months or it could be number of years. IY is interest per year. PV is present value. PMT is payment. And FV means future value. So in this following problem, what we have is this. You deposit money into a certificate of deposit or a CD. So you deposit $1,000 for two years at 5% interest. So the question is, how much money do you have at the end of the two years? So this is what we're doing on the financial calculator. And the great thing about the financial calculator is this is one of those problems if you did it by hand, it would be quite lengthy do you have at the end of the two years. So this is what we're doing on the financial calculator. And the great thing about the financial calculator is this is one of those problems if you did it by hand, it would be quite lengthy to do, but doing it on the, fin on the financial calculator, once you're able to do it, uh, you could do it in a matter of seconds. So what we're doing is, in this case, our N is going to be 2 because we have 2 years. So we hit 2, and then we hit N. And then our interest is 5%, so we hit 5, and then IY. It's important to note here that you don't have to decimalize the interest. So don't put the interest as 0 0.05. You don't have to do that. The calculator automatically converts it for you. So if you put it in as 0 0.05, you're going to get the wrong answer. Our present value is how much this is investment is worth right now. So we just put $1,000 into a CD, so it's worth $1,000. Now, one thing that's important to note, you have to make this a negative by hitting the plus minus sign on the very bottom right hand corner of the calculator. The reason you have to do this is because if you don't, you'll get an error message with the TI and you'll wonder, hey, what am I doing wrong? I think I'm doing all the steps wrong, but that's what it is, is that your present value was not a negative number. Now, the reason this works as a negative number functionally is that when you invest the money, you are essentially having a cash outflow of $1,000. When you get the money back at the end of the two years, then that will be a inflow, and that will be a positive number. So again, your present value is negative 1,000. Now, the next important thing, you want to put in zero for payment. And the reason for this, in the event you didn't clear all your work from the previous problem, whatever you had in there for payment for a previous problem will stay in the calculator. And so that again will give you a wrong answer where you're wondering, hey, what am I doing wrong? I did all the steps right. And then my answer is still wrong. And that is a common reason why is you just did not put in zero for payment. So then the final step is we hit the compute button, which is CPT in the top left-hand corner. So we hit compute, and then we hit future value. And when we do that, we see that at the end of the two years, our CD is going to be worth $1,102.50. So if you like this video, please smash the like button, and thank you for watching.